Hello there AppSpy viewers, my name is Peter and I've got a hands-on video for you. This time it's with The Trace. The Trace is from Relentless and this is a point-and-click adventure in the style of something like The Room uh, mixed with maybe their Murder Files games which were fairly popular on iOS and also on PlayStation and I think 360 in the end. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm tapping and holding on the screen and I'm looking around quite typical really and we're going to go into this car workshop we're going to tap on the handle and then tap and drag and that opens up the handle and there we are we walk on in well there's the body better check it out so I'm going to tap over here the game is leading me through this at the moment but it does open up and kind of lets you do your own thing once it, you've got out of this tutorialized section so I'm going to tap over this and look here we are I can tap on this button nothing maybe the fuse blew hmm that's a shame. So we can't do anything. But what we can do is we can spin this around. And then we can go into our forensics mode and tap on that. And then we can see this and we tap and hold and this scans. And there we are. We've got a fingerprint. So we found that this fingerprint belongs to uh, Josef Spinovich, uh, who uh, is one, well, who committed aggravated assault in 2008 and currently works for the place that we're in. So uh, we're going to tap on the screen, and we've got a new lead. So we tap on our new lead, and we can tap and hold on this piece of evidence and drag the clue here. Then it's going to get analysed, and success. We've answered our question. So did the thing come down on ourselves? On you know, did the, the did the sort of hydraulics come down on the victim uh, by itself? Did the victim commit suicide in that way? No, it was probably somebody else. So let's tap on the screen. So we've solved that, that bit. Other objects may contain evidence that is concealed. Remember to look for parts that you can lift, slide, or open. So we're going to pinch, and that brings us away from here. Must be something more to learn from this body. So I'm going to tap on the pocket here, and we can see that there's a wallet. I'm going to drag up like that and tap on here, and we found the wallet. We see here, yep, this is the ID of the person. So this is uh, Warren Oakley. Guess he's the Oakley in Oakley Classic Cars. So now Alex is being dialed. Alex here, it's Pierce. You're playing as Pierce, by the way. I've just pulled the deceased's ID from his wallet. Mr. Warren Oakley, can you track down the next of kin? Blah, 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 blah. So um, there's definitely a story going along here. And uh, I can move this around. As you can see, the objects are exceptionally highly detailed. Beautiful, beautiful things. Let's pinch to zoom. And You'll see here we've got keys. We're starting to play the game for ourselves now. So we can use these items. The game's going to tell us how to do that. He's still got his keys. I should hang on to these because they might be useful. So we've solved this one. Tick. We've solved what happened with the actual hydraulics coming down. So now we're left to our own devices and we need to solve what's going on in this room. Um, the game plays out much like you've just seen, so it's a lot of finding evidence and moving around and doing different things. I've actually completed this stage, so I'm going to go ahead and do some fun stuff. So, let's go ahead and go over here, and we can see that we've got the service reception, and I'm going to tap on here, and I'm going to tap and drag down, and unfortunately it's locked. So we just need to uh, pop something in here, and we go to our items, we grab the key that is useful, and then spin the key, and then bazinga! Uh, we are allowed in here. It's dark, therefore drag down and we've got this. You can see how intuitive, you can see how tactile the whole thing is. It definitely does feel like the room uh, in some ways. It definitely has that high quality tactileness to it, um, but it's its own beast. Um, it's not weird, it's not um, it's not a sort of pseudo horror game that... Uh, that uh, oh here we go. Uh, it's not the pseudo horror game that uh, the room is. Uh, we're going to crack this safe. It takes a little bit more sort of um, ingenuity and thriller-esque solving than uh, perhaps than perhaps you might expect from a game like this. Um, but it's definitely got elements of you know of that game and also of Mist, Riven, um, Zork, Grand Inquisitor, <laughs> all those other first-person adventures. Should be two thousand dollars in this safe. Hmm. Is there any evidence? No. Let's go out of here. Uh, and we can tap on this. this. is the gun holster. Evidence found in the top left hand corner. Zero of one. I can't see anything. Can you? No. Well, we'll pop this on and tap on here. 
And there we are, we've found that the fingerprints are not on file. Hmm. So, what does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, there's a... S do I have to tap on this? I think I do, don't I? Uh, or do I? Yeah, we tap over here. Ah, there we are. Da -da 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 -da. Done. So, the fingerprints on the safe and the fingerprints on the holster match. We're going to zoom out of here. And... Da -da -da -da. We're going over here. We can tap on this chap's hand. And what we can do is... Do that. And there we are. Multiple matches found for the fingerprints. It's on the safe, it's on the holster. So we know that the deceased opened up the safe. Um, it is a beautiful game, this. Uh, the trace really is just absolutely gorgeous looking. Even when you go into the toilets. Look at this. Let's go into the brilliantly modelled bogs. Let's do that. Lovely. Just like lovely little lighting bloom there as your eyes become uh, you know, a, a sensitive to the light. Um, let's look around here. Oh! I'm not going to give too much more of the game away. 347. So it's a lovely adventure puzzle detective game. Got a cool storyline as well. Uh, very much about... I'm not going to tell you what they're about. Uh, very much about death and murder. Uh, is that murder most foul? It certainly is. I would say that it is anyway. Um, and all sorts of other lovely stuff like that. But it just looks absolutely fantastic. It sounds brilliant. And it's just got that level of class that you that you probably should expect from a company like Relentless. Um, this is coming to iOS and it's coming to Android. Uh, it'll be on iPhone and iPad on March the 26th. And it will be on Android a little bit later. Um, it's... I think it's going to be an episodic thing. Uh, this first one is going to cost you three pounds ninety-nine. Um, I might. I, I hope I'm right on that one. Uh, but yes, uh, certainly this one has got plenty of content. I, I was scratching my head over this first, just this first scene, really, for about forty-five minutes. Uh, is that because I'm a dummy? Hmm. Let's not answer that question. But it is pretty cool. So there we are. That's the trace. It's coming uh, at the end of March, and I'm really rather excited to see more of it. Do let me know what you're thinking about it in the comments. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.